So at Dreamforce last week, Kyle Roche and I participated in the hackathon where we had two hours to create an application that integrated with Twilio. We couldn't get it all quite finished in time, so we actually got a chance to, to get it done, and we thought we'd post it and give an idea of what we can build with Twilio and the Force.com platform. So if you're not familiar with Twilio, they're a cloud-based API for making and receiving phone calls. It's pretty cool stuff. You can actually um, sign up and get a developer account right away and start making applications that integrate with Salesforce. Now, Kyle and uh, Asambari from Apero also, they created a toolkit for Salesforce, and you can actually download that toolkit from CodeShare and start creating some apps with Twilio and the Force.com platform. So there's two parts of the application. Uh, Kyle was actually working on one part down from the booth. He was giving demos at the time, and he threw his application together. And what it does is when you click the contact's phone number, it calls the contact's number. This is my Skype number by chance. And then it also clicks and calls the um, phone number for the user. And then it connects those two phone calls together. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. So I click this button. It's going to call my, cell, my Skype number and then call my cell phone. So there's my cell phone. Thank you for using your demo account. Please upgrade to a full account to remove this message. And then it's calling my Skype number. Hello, Force.com Force Hackathon. Hackathon. So that's that part of the demo. The next part of the demo is where you make an inbound call to Salesforce. You leave a message, and then it attaches that message to the contact as related list. It looks up the person's contact record by their phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this. Continue. Enter my pin here real quick. Thank you for calling the hackathon hotline. Leave a message after the monkey to <laughs> Thanks for the great time at the Salesforce hackathon. Thanks for howling Jeff Douglas. Take a listen to your message. Thanks for the great time at the Salesforce Hackathon. Goodbye. So now if we go ahead and refresh this page, you'll see that on the related list, there's now a, a message that was left. And we can click on this message to play it. Thanks for the great time at the Salesforce Hackathon. Okay, so just a quick look at the code behind that. So my part's a little bit simpler, and I only have about a minute left to go here. So the first time when you call in, it loads up this page on, on a sites application as an XML file, prompts you, tells you to leave a message, um, it plays an MP3, and then it posts the information to this URL, which is another page on the site. This is the page right here that catches all those variables that come in, and it loads this controller and runs this save message and the save message comes through here and actually grabs the URL that Twilio sent, tries to find the caller by the phone number that was passed over, and then it gets the caller's um, name and ID if it found them. If not, it says an unknown caller. And then it attempts to save the record as a related list for that message. If it doesn't find that contact, we should probably create a task that says, hey, someone called in and you know find their account or create a new one. So that's the, uh, the application that we built. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop Kyle or myself a line.